Hi Bourbon Fellows, I'm Gao Zong and I'm here to tell you more about impact statements and how to create them using the X by Y by Z formula. So far, you've learned how to identify your skills based on your experiences. Well now, we're going to talk about how to convert those skills into impact statements. But first, let me remind you what an impact statement is. Impact statements are the bullet points in your resume that demonstrate your qualitative or quantitative accomplishments. For example, let's look at two statements. Provided excellent customer experience versus assisted 30 plus customers on a daily basis in making purchasing decisions by understanding their needs and recommended solutions. Which one sounds better? The second one, right? In the first statement, I'm just telling you what my responsibility was. I provided customer service. However, in the second statement, I'm showing you the impact of providing customer service by describing how many people I helped and how I helped them. Your impact statements should not focus on what your responsibility was, but rather the impact you made through that responsibility. When employers are only spending on average six seconds looking at each resume, you want to ensure that you stand out with strong impact statements. We'll work on highlighting the accomplishments you had at your current or previous roles so that hiring managers can envision you making that kind of impact at their organization too. So let's get into how you can do this. First, I want to recognize that writing impact statements is the hardest part of creating a resume. If you feel like you don't have a lot of experience to write about, you are not alone. Consider the skills you've gained from your extracurricular activities, any non-academic or academic projects, service or retail industry jobs, and or any other non-professional experiences like babysitting. These experiences count too, and they give you a lot of transferable skills to write about. To help you create your impact statements, I'm going to use the X by Y by Z formula. Here, the X is your accomplishment, the Y is the measurable result, and the Z is how you did it. Let's review five steps you can take to create impact statements using this formula. Step one is to identify the Z. These are the tasks you performed and the skills you used to complete those tasks. We begin with Z, how you did it, because it is often the easiest to identify first. Let's say I am trying to create my task list from my previous library assistant job. As a library assistant, I helped patrons find books, manage the sign-up sheet for the young adult programs, and shelved books. These are my Zs for this role. Looking at these bullet points, it's clear that I have skills such as organization from shelving books and customer service from helping patrons, but it's not clear what my impact was. I'm just telling you what my responsibilities were. So I need to take this one step further by identifying my X's and my Y's to turn these responsibilities into accomplishments. Step two is to identify the positive impact of what you did, the X in our equation. So let's take a look at my second bullet point, manage signup sheet for young adult programs. I want to lay out why this was impactful. So I asked myself, what goals did doing this help my organization achieve? At the library, when I manage sign-up sheets, I could tell the librarians how many people have signed up so far so that we could decide if we needed more publicity. This helped us reach our monthly goals of how many young adults participated in our programs. This is the X in our equation, my impact. So I will rewrite the statement to manage sign-up sheet for young adult programs to reach our monthly participation goal. If my task didn't relate to a goal, I could ask myself, did I identify and solve a problem? Did I create something or execute an event? Did I receive an award or recognition? And or did I introduce any new ideas to help identify my impact? Now that you know your impact, step three is to back up your impact with numbers and include a measurable result, the Y in our equation. This is how we measure impact. Taking the statement we talked about in the last step, I wanna think about the relevant numbers. So I ask myself, how many people were impacted by my work and how many months do we reach our goal? I helped recruit about eight people per week to sign up, which helped us reach our goal of 60 participants per month. We reached our goal every month last year, except for one. Taking these numbers, I'll update my statement to manage the young adult program signup process by recruiting eight plus participants per week, resulting in meeting the monthly goal of 60 participants 11 out of 12 months last year. I backed up my Z, managed the young adult signup process with numbers by describing how many participants I recruited per week. I also backed up my X with quantitative data showing that our goal was 60 participants a month. And finally, I included my Y, 
the measurable result being that we met our goal 11 out of 12 times. When you're doing this step, you could ask yourself the following questions depending on your experience to identify your measurable result. How many customers did you assist per day? How many people attended your event? How much money did you help raise? How much money or time did you help save? And how frequently did you do this task? Step four is to organize your impact statements using the X by Y by Z format. It looks like this. Accomplished X as measured by Y by doing Z. X is the accomplishment, Y is the measurable result, and Z is how you did it. So looking at my previous statement, my X would be that I helped meet the monthly goal of 60 plus participants. My Y would be that we met that goal 11 out of 12 times. And my Z would be that I recruited eight plus participants per week by managing the signup process. If I put it all together, I get met the goal of 60 plus participants per month, 11 out of 12 months last year by recruiting eight plus participants a week as the signup process manager. This now sounds so much more impressive than where I was when I started. Using the X by Y by Z formula will help hiring managers see right away what impact you've made. The last step, step five, is to start with a strong action verb that connects all of the ideas in your impact statement. My statement starts with met, which is not a very strong action verb. It sounds like I was just meeting expectations for my job rather than doing something amazing. So I want to pick a stronger verb. There are a bunch of action verb lists online that you can look through, and we've provided one in the portal too. Looking at this list, the first verb that pops up at me is achieved. This verb fits my statement and sounds impactful. So I'll update my statement to achieve the goal of 60 plus participants per month, 11 out of 12 months last year by recruiting eight plus participants a week as the signup process manager. It might not always be as easy as just replacing the action verb like I did. Sometimes you might have to reword the whole statement to make sure the action verb makes sense and that is okay. You saw how we turn one bullet point into an impact statement using the X by Y by Z formula. When you work on your impact statements, use this formula and this five-step process to help you highlight your accomplishments to hiring managers and recruiters. Great impact statements will help you stand out amongst other resumes. Don't forget to get feedback from your peers, coaches, and mentors. Their feedback will help you get out of your head and onto the paper. 